Hi guys, this is Mike, and today is part two of our morphological searching series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about using search operators in morph searching. So sit back and relax, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So when doing morph searching, the first thing that we want to do is actually open, once again, a new search panel, and we want to set our search type to morph. Once within a morph search, we're going to want to set our search text, and so we're going to start today with searching a Greek text. So if you have the NA28, go ahead and change that to the NA28. If you don't have NA28, try the SBL Greek New Testament by typing SBL. So I'm going to go ahead and use NA28 though for my purposes. And then once you've got your text set, we can go ahead and begin our search. Now, something you may be noticing here is that we don't have the option to set our morphology database anymore. Um, you know, this is kind of giving you a date of this video, but the version 6.10 of Logos was just released. And in that, they did some updates to morph searching. And I'm going to do a video just strictly focusing on that alone. You can find a link to that up at the top. Uh, but now your morph database information is accessible actually within the drop down in a search syntax. So just to give you a little a quick idea. So before what we did is we actually ran a morph search in our previous video on the Greek lemma cosmos. And once again, you can select that from the drop down menu and run a search off of that lemma alone. And notice this has all of the instances of cosmos within the Greek New Testament. And one place in particular that I want to focus on, if we scroll down in our search results, is verse John 3.16. So I'm going to go ahead and open John 3.16 within my Nessalon NA28. And you'll notice all of my search hits are visible right now within the text itself. And notice that in this search, or in this verse, we have the Greek word, or the lemma, agapao, that appears here, and as well as the word cosmos. So let's say we want to find all of the other verses where not only cosmos appears, but it appears in the same verse as the Greek word or the lemma agapao, or to love. So how do we do that? Well, an easy way to do that is to come back to our search and then hit a space in between lemma cosmos, and then we can add another lemma onto this search line. So let's add the search, uh, the, the lemma agapao. So I'll go ahead and phonetically type that out in the English letters and then select the lemma option from the drop down menu. And that will enter that search and then we can run the search and this will find every verse where both of these lemmas appear at least once. So you'll notice this has started to delimit our search a bit more. John 3.16 is actually our first hit, and then John 3.19, so on and so forth. But these are all the places where agapao and cosmos appear in the same verse. Now, in any search, a space in between two terms, as in lemma cosmos space lemma agapao, that stands for the Boolean operator and. So this is saying find every place where this and this appear in the same verse. Now, we could extend this even further if we wanted to find either or. We could write the Boolean operator in all capital letters, or. So this would find all the places where either cosmos or agapao appear in a verse. But what's interesting about this type of search is that if we just do a straight and or or, we're not guaranteeing that these words have anything really to do with one another. So perhaps instead of just searching for them in any place within a verse, we actually want to tie them together a little bit more tightly with something called a proximity operator. Now there are four proximity operators within Logos, and if we open a new search panel, I'll go ahead and do that, you can uh, actually look at the different proximity operators if you open up, a uh, change it to a Bible search and scroll down a little bit, you find these in these sections called logical operators. These are your Boolean operators that we were just showing, as well as proximity operators. So you've got the proximity operator before, after, near, and then another one is called within. And then with these proximity operators, you can also set certain um, proximities on them. So notice we've got four words, or how about two characters? So let's say we want to find every place in the Greek New Testament where the word 
agapao appears before the word cosmos in the same verse, but appears within four words before cosmos. Well, we can do that same thing over in our search. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the OR operator and replace it with the operator BEFORE. Once again, typed in all capital letters. And then you need to type a numeral. I'll type 4. Don't type out F-O-U-R. It will not understand that. You have to actually type the numeral. And then the word WORDS. And once again, all of this in capital letters. And then we can hit ENTER to run that search. So this will find all the places where the word cosmos appears before four words of the lemma agapao. But notice that we lost John 3.16 in this process. So let's say we want to include that back in. So instead of using a before operator, let's try the operator within. Because this is saying we don't care whether it appears before or after. We just want these two words to appear within four words of one another. And notice that brings back our search hit for John 3.16 because in this instance, agapao appears before cosmos. And so since we changed to within, it will now find this search result for us. Now one of the other cool things is we can also adjust the morphology of each of these individual terms as well. So here in John 3.16, we've got agapao in the aorist tense. So we want to find all of the instances of agapao when it's in the aorist and nothing else. Well, we'll come back to our search. At the end where it says agapao, type the at symbol. And this will provide us with our drop down menu. And since we're only searching a text with one database, it's only got one available up here at the top. So what we need to do is first select our part of speech. So it's going to be verb. And then we can select our tense, aorist. And since we're not really interested in anything else, we'll go ahead and enter that search. And this will find only the places where the aorist tense of agapao appears within four words of the lemma cosmos. So that's all I've got for you today. I just wanted to show you a little bit more flexibility with regard to morphological searching that you can do within Logos Bible software using search operators, both logical operators or Boolean operators, as well as proximity operators. So these same searches, or the same search functionality works just the same for normal searches in a basic search or in a Bible search. So I hope that this was helpful for you today. Please, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos as they're released, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button here. I hope that you have fun mining the depths of Scripture using Logos Bible software. Until next time.